Shalom, Yasha'ala. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word and laboring in this word in truth and sincerity. In today's lesson, I want to briefly touch on our daily bread. <laughs> okay. On how you should be content with your daily bread that the Heavenly Father gives you. Okay. <clears throat> our daily bread should be sufficient for us to get through the day. You know, more importantly, or first and foremost, our daily bread is what? The scriptures. Okay. Because this is the bread of life. You know, when we eat this bread, uh, we become full. You know, and this and this is the the true bread, which sustains us. You know, not this GMO bread that Esau gave us in the grocery stores, but this bread uh, for the scriptures. And ultimately, this bread is life, because this bread that we're eating of is Yahweh Shai. Okay, I'll get that as my first scripture. Uh, John John the sixth chapter the 48th verse it says and it reads I am that bread of life your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead this is the bread with with which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. You see? And every time we read these scriptures, you know, we're eating, man. We're eating of Yahweh Shai. That bread, that bread of life. Okay, hey, these scriptures are our daily bread. Okay, now I want to touch on. Let's bring the scripture out first. Matthew six verse nine, and it reads: It says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, okay? And that's why I read the scripture in John, uh, Yahweh Shai being that bread of life. Because truly, when you get dive into these scriptures, when the Most High Yahweh opens up your knowledge with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, and you begin to eat this bread, you begin to live, okay? Through the Spirit, you become... Uh, you become to uh, breathe again, that breath of life. You begin to breathe. Uh, you begin to uh, 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 live, not spiritually be dead. Okay? Verse 11 it says, give us this day our daily bread. Okay, so like I said, the first uh, on the spiritual aspect is Yahweh Shai, you know, the spread of the scriptures. You know, and then also uh, you got to put an aspect uh, even in, in a, a carnal sense or a, not carnal, but a, a physical sense, you know, for us maneuvering throughout the world, you know, all, all you need is what? Uh, food, clothing, you know, shelter. Okay. Them, them, them are the things that uh, you should be content with. You know, enough to make it through the next day. And along with, uh, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to have the discernment to be able to move uh, or be, to be able to maneuver throughout the world in the spirit. Okay, you know. Uh, let's get First Timothy to back that up because that's what you should be c content with, you know. 
1 Timothy 6. I'll start at uh, 7. It says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. You see? So having uh, Heavenly Father giving you just enough, you know, to make it, that's what you should be content with. You should be shouldn't be content with all uh, uh, the abundance and the riches of the world, man. Okay, being full with uh, having everything, you know, because what that that can uh, bring a snare upon you. You know, when people get or fall into riches, they fall into many snares. They fall into many traps. And and honestly, they're doing so much where they're not focused on the Lord. Now you have you will definitely have you will have a uh, you know some brothers out there that may have you know better jobs than others and may come into uh, abundance of money, but uh, they use it more of for the body, okay? They don't let it become a snare to them, you know, because they ultimately know what they 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 have the wisdom. To know how to use the abundance of that money. Okay. So let's read that again. It says, In having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And you see that happens a lot, a lot of time, man. You know. You have men that come into this truth, into this faith. They fall into a lot of money, and it becomes a snare into them. Okay? They start getting caught up in the things of the world instead of uh, doing, being about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so ultimately it becomes their destruction. Verse 10 it says, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Exactly what I just said. And pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You see? And that's ha that happens a lot, man. People come into a lot of money and, and, and they start to, you know, uh, be not as a, be not as a, the word I want to use. They be not more a focus of uh, the task is that's at hand. All right. I want to get Proverbs, uh, a precept to back that up. Proverbs 30, verse 9. It reads, it says, I'll start at 8. It says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the with food convenient for me, you know, and that's what you should ask for, man. You know, ask the Lord that you you may not be a poor to a bum on the street, but neither take riches, you know, because riches can uh, riches can will become a snare to you, man. Hey, you heard that saying in the world: more money, more problems. But feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee and say. Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and still and take the name of my power or my God in vain. So you want to just you want just enough uh, that's convenient for you to get through, man. You know. So go back to First Timothy six verse eight. It says, "In having food and raiment, let us be there with content." Okay. So that you have just enough that should be able to sustain you uh, to make it through. Um, so let's go back to Matthew. Six. Oh, no, you know what? I got a preset. Um, let's go to Ecclesiasticus. Thirty-nine and 
and read. Verse 21, it says, A man need not to say, What is this? Wherefore is that? For he have made all things for their uses. His blessing covered the dry land as a river and watered it as a flood. As he have turned the waters into saltness, so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling block unto the wicked. For good thing, for the good are good things created from the beginning, so the evil things for sinners. The principal things for a whole use of a man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. See, so that's enough, you know, for a man to get through. Okay? You got what? You got your blood of the grape. You got your wine. You know, you got your, your, your milk. You got your, your, your wheat. Your honey for the, your sweetness. Your flour. Your salt. Your fire to keep you warm. And your, and, and what? Your, your water so you don't thirst. And ultimately, your house shower is, has... Uh, you have you believing on your how uh like like the scripture says you shall never thirst man or out of your belly shall flow uh, rivers of living water let's get that uh what's that john oh, i believe it's john 7 and 38 oh yeah right it says he oh man it says he that believeth on me as the scripture have said out of his body shall flow rivers of living water. You see? Let's go even go to John 6 and 35. Um, it's a, it reads, I'll start at 30. Uh, I'll start at 31. It says, Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it was written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not the bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. And who is that? Yahweh Shai. Okay? That, this is speaking of Yahweh Shai. Then I said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay? And, and that's what you should be praying for. You see? Let's get another precept, Proverbs 24, verse 13. And this is dealing with, uh, for dealing, going back into that honey. Right? Uh, the use of man's life. Oh, come on, man. Uh, Proverbs 24, verse 13, it says, My son, eat thou honey because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. So shall thy knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. You see, because when you start to learn this, uh, this, this truth, coming to this knowledge, a uh, you eat in this roll, right? It becomes sweet into you. You know, you digesting it, you eating it, and you know, everything is sweet. You know, but after a while, things become sour, becomes bitter, and, and you start understanding things differently. Okay, you know, but this honey right here. Uh, this honey is 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 likened to what a sweet sweet wisdom okay All right yep sweet is the wisdom so let's go back to matthew matthew 6 verse 1 matthew 6 verse 11 it says give us this day this day our daily bread, you know. So, like I said, your daily, your daily bread, our daily bread. First and foremost, should be the scriptures. Okay, hey, that's the bread of life, man. We eat of Yahweh Shai, you know. And like I said, on a physical note, we 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 got uh, 
you know, food. The Lord, Lord may bless you with the, the food, shelter, raiment. Okay, that you may be able to get through. Hey, with that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He also what? Uh, what's that? That faith into there. Okay, hey, because because faith is important. Hey, without faith, you can't please the Most High. You see, you, you you must believe, okay? Believe He is, okay? So with that, I want to close out and give all praise and honor glory to Yah, Bashim Yavashai, the one to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, citation to the four corners of the earth, teaching this, uh, citation to the brothers to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word and laboring in this word in truth and sincerity. And, and, and like I said, man, you brothers be focused or, or, or be content with, with our daily bread, man. Okay? With, with, uh, enough that is sufficient for us. Shalom.